we're going into the EQ section on only three of them. So this is utterly useless. But what we can do here is let's look at the CS parameter order dot P list. Hey guys, what's going on? So we have the UF1 and we want to control plugins, different plugins um, with those four or eight encoders. Now, I've got a video on my channel if you want to check it out, how to do that with the UF8 and the process is pretty much the same. So right out of the gates, when you press plugin, there is a mapping that's happening, but the mapping sometimes is a little bit wonky, where on one plugin, for example, you would have as the first uh, encoder, you would have input, and then on the second one, it might be, I don't know, something from the side chain or the output. And so the order is, well, let's put it this way, needs to be edited. And especially many of these plugins have more than four or eight parameters. And so one of the things that I recommend is just thinking about which of these param parameters are the most important to you to control with your hands. You can always, for example, use focus mode. It's quite easy put it in focus and then you hover with the mouse over any parameter and then you turn this knob here and you're getting well analog like uh, reaction but this um, only allows you to control one parameter at the same time so for example what if you would have input and output um, gain compensation with two hands here's one of the plugins that I'm just currently enjoying It's the Avalon VT 747 SP by Kazrock it's a really cool Casrog. it's a really cool plugin and let's do it and I'll show you the trick all right here we go so one of the things we want to do we want to say save as default and what happens after that logic saves a CS parameter dot plist file so let's look for Casrog. And his Casrog, and it's look in Avalon VT. There it is. There is the CS parameter order dot P list. So we need to edit this. All right. So first, let's look at what options we currently have. And so the way it's currently mapped, it gives me sidechain, compressor, on and off, ratio. What is this? I'm not even sure what this is. If I click on 5.8, uh, it turns the sidechain listen on. Uh, and then it we're going into the EQ section on only three of them. So this is utterly useless. But what we can do here is let's look at the CS parameter order dot P list. So I'm going to edit this open with uh, P list edit pro. Here we go. Oh, there's a trial period. I'm not going to worry about this right now. Here we go. So here we have it. So it goes in banks of eight. So zero would be the first parameter and seven would be the eighth parameter. And so what I typically do, I worry only about the first eight and try to gather what's the most important for me. And then kind of like look at what is the layout of the plugin in itself that makes sense. First one, input gain. Let's make the second one threshold. And that makes sense. Threshold. Um, and then I would probably do attack and release. Okay. I would make it input threshold attack release. Group these four together. All right. So let's do this. So input threshold attack and release would be the first four. And then the next four. I would probably do, say we could do the ratio, then right below it, the makeup gain, that would be important. We could also do the output. So let's just do the output because in case we play with the EQ, um, out gain. There we go, I made a mistake. I pulled the ratio here ratio out gain and then i have two more parameters to play with to get to my first eight and i would probably leave it like that i would probably use um this low 
shelf here or maybe the 35 kilohertz band so okay i'm gonna do high shelf and low shelf um so that would be eq gain one so here we go and put the out gain last so those are our first eight parameters so i can't save it because it's a trial version but there's a workaround see the plist file that he created right here that's it i'm gonna copy this copy this and then we are going to open the same parameter plist file no problem so and then we are going to close this first so i'm going to take all this select it all delete it and replace it with the file that we just created then we are going to save it what you need to do then is it won't work right away you gotta close this out and bring the plugin back uh, let's say we're gonna do no plugin and we're gonna bring it back same plugin stereo and then voila as you can see here it starts with input gain threshold attack release and the ratio and then those two bands and then the gain. This is by no means a perfect solution, but on a small controller like this, this is definitely something. So let's try this out here. Input gain, threshold, attack, release. And then when we press five, eight, so I can pretty quickly dial in things. I think that's the most important thing. And then if I want to get more granular, I press five, six, and then I have the ratio. And then I have those uh, ratio, gain one, again, high shelf, low shelf, or low shelf, high shelf. And then what's important to gain stage, I got my output knob. And you can rearrange those. And I typically leave it at that. That should be enough, but you could add more parameters and then keep going. And not every plugin is made for that. For example, uh, you know, Fab Filter Pro Q3 is not made for this. It's not ideal, um, but something like the black box um, is a pretty good candidate. Low shelf, boost, high shelf, smart limit, sonable from Austria. Here we go. So now let's check our parameters. Gain, attack, release and channel link which is right here pressing 58 we got style saturation I'm gonna show this better see this style saturation balance and base control so i think this is gonna be pretty good pretty intuitive i can get to things pretty quickly tack release i just want it to be a little bit more intuitive i can it's not just two hands, it's also several fingers that can do that at the same time. You press play, you're doing a lot of things, right? So you're getting into a very intuitiveness workflow here. All right, so this is it. I hope this helps you. It's not that hard to do, and you know, you can do this for any plugin of your choice. All right, Massive Beats, out.